Hey guys, it's G. Today we're doing a spiral swipe with the Shelly Art Selectivator. So what I'm putting down first is interior house paint. Um, this is titanium white, it's latex based, and I thin it with just a little bit of water because in Egypt, um, pillow paint is very thick, uh, like paste-like, it's not even fluid. And what you're seeing here is a very good example of why you should try to spin slowly. Do you see how streaks are shooting out of the little tile in the center? That's why when you actually have your, your pattern and composition on the canvas, you're encouraged to spin slowly. For the colors, the pouring medium is made of untinted house paint. That's base C or base 3 or neutral, depending on where you are in the world. And to that, I'm adding about four parts of polyurethane varnish, like Josonia, and one part of tube paint. These colors are actually craft paints, so they're inexpensive. In the middle is titanium white, and then we've got um, primary yellow, uh, followed by magenta, and we'll follow up the magenta with violet. So this is doable with cheap craft paints, um, minus the uh, cell activator part, but for your colors, they don't have to be expensive paints or anything. So for the cell activator, the recipe we're going to use is two parts Australian Floetrol to one part I'm using Lamp Black from Amsterdam for the cell activator. And I'm using a swipe tool, uh, the number 15 swipe tool from uh, Fluid Art Co. Um, and it has a curve which makes it very suitable for this type of swipe. And I've just covered a little bit of the back with the black cell activator. Spin the spinner and then just start at the center and slowly pull your hand back towards you. Nice, huh? So now that we have our composition, it's critical that we spin slowly. We can't spin it as fast as we were when we were spreading out the pillow, or you, you see the white paint shooting off the sides, you'll get that same look um, in the composition, which would effectively ruin it, right? We want to retain um, the spiral-like shape. We want the cells to hold their integrity. So from here, the spinning is much slower. This spin that I'm leaving on now is in real time, and it's just for you to see um, the actual speed of the spinning. But every spin after that, I'm going to speed up the video or we'll be here forever. I'm going to put on a piece of music from my band Dubsy and Gesser for the remainder of the video. If you like it, check it out on our channel. Uh, it comes out this Saturday. And I'll catch up with you at the end of the video to comment on the finished painting. Cheers. There we go, here's the finished painting. I really like how this turned out. I love that effect when the cell activator snags a color under it and it almost looks like highlights in the cell activator. Um, I love the bits where the yellow and the magenta blended into orange. Um, there is surprisingly very little blending in this one, but that's mostly because, um, if you saw in the beginning of the video, the way I put the colors down, I didn't put them over each other. I drew rings around them so they don't really overlap uh, and this sort of reduces the blending um and yeah let me know if you like this video uh this was g i'll see you in the next one